was the involvement of Mr. Charlton Heston? Two years ago, I picketed some restaurants in Oklahoma, but without uh, one exception, up until very recently, like most Americans, I am expressed my support of civil rights largely by talking about it at cocktail parties, I'm afraid. But again, like most many Americans this summer, uh, I could no longer pay only lip service to a cause that was so urgently right and in a time that is so urgently now. Mr. Heston was about to come in on this. Uh, earlier you said uh, very modestly and with considerable humility that until recently you would reserved your civil rights position for cocktail parties. That's lo lo no longer true. Would you uh, expand on that first? I'm afraid I have very little to expand in terms of direct action beyond my uh, participation in the most moving events of, uh, of today. But uh, I would... Um, to some extent uh, disagree, at least as I understood uh, Joe's and Marlin's point. Uh, the prime thing I extracted from today's events was a, a quite hopeful and stirring feeling of, uh, uh, for the future, and also a, a restatement of the principles on which this country was founded. Uh, Dr. King said most eloquently that uh, now seems finally to be the time when the, the check which the Negro American has presented so often and had returned to him marked insufficient funds may at last be on the verge of being cashable. And uh, in terms of, uh, of equality with his fellow Americans. But as an American, I am as stirred by the fact that this is true as I am by whatever capacity I have to empathize with my Negro fellow citizens uh, in their eloquent cry that it finally happened now. And I, uh, I cannot forget that, uh, as, as you suggested, this uh, is a country and a system of government that was, uh, however tardy we are in extending freedom to all its citizens, we conceived the idea of freedom for all citizens under the law. And among the many eloquent things that were said today, uh, James Baldwin has written as eloquently as, as anyone on, on this subject, but uh, most of the men who have written on civil rights and spoken on it trace back uh, what they speak about to the statements made by Lincoln and Jefferson. And uh, although the the end is not yet. The, uh, as Harry suggested, this is perhaps a beginning. And the times ahead are just as, uh, as difficult as the times behind, although well, in a different way. Where do we... You want to say to me? Well, uh, everything that we've been saying in the last few minutes illustrates vividly the, the vital importance of this question, not only for Negro Americans, but for all Americans, and thus, in view of our position in the world, for all the world. And again, the importance of it and the difficulty, uh, as both Harry and, and Jimmy Baldwin suggested, that, that it's not an easy, a downhill coast. The, the difficulty of the times ahead uh, cannot be overemphasized. Again, I can't help thinking that it was never more eloquently put than uh, uh, Tom Paine put it, writing in the winter of Valley Forge, and another difficult time for this country, when he said, uh, these are the times that try men's souls. The sunshine patriot and the summer soldier will in this crisis shrink from the service of his country. But he that stands it now will earn the love and thanks of man and woman.